Hi, I'm Alexandra, and in this EdTech how-to video, we're going to learn all about Classroom Screen. Let's go ahead and get started. Classroom Screen can be found in the App Portal. So starting here on the District webpage, I can go into Staff and Staff Applications to get to my App Portal. From there, I can locate Classroom Screen. If you can't find it for whatever reason, don't worry. You can always search in the top for Classroom Screen and click on it to launch. The great thing about Classroom Screen is you don't have to have an account in order to use it. You'll be automatically brought to the Classroom Screen widget page and you can start using it right away. The way that Classroom Screen works is there's all kinds of widgets down below that you can activate. You can click on more widgets to see even more widgets. Classroom Screen will let you change the background, conduct a poll, pick a random name, set up a decibel meter to adjust for sound level in the classroom, turn on a traffic light, and more. Now, it would be a lot to show you how all of these widgets work, so let's go ahead and dive into a couple widgets so you get the idea. The first thing I want to do is customize my background. So I'm going to pick background, and I have all kinds of choices here of backgrounds. I can even go to uploaded backgrounds and upload my own. I want one that's slightly animated, and I like this one, so I'll choose this one. Let's take a look at a couple of the widgets. Let's say I'd like to pull a random name. I can go ahead and click on random name to populate that widget. Every widget is going to be adjustable in size, and I can close it out if I don't want to use it anymore. Otherwise, I can just leave it open. We'll pull the random name widget back up. Some widgets will automatically just work. Other widgets, I might have to configure some settings. For the random name one, I do need to open up settings here, and I need to enter a list of my students. If I already had a list of my students somewhere, I could copy paste them or I could type them out. You'll notice here I do get a notification on the benefits of the account. We'll talk about accounts at the end of the video. I'll click continue. From there, I can adjust some settings, including the ability to enable sounds, animations, remember the students chosen so that they don't get selected again until I go through my whole class, and I can even customize the color. Let's pick one that matches. Once I'm done, all I have to do is hit the arrow, and a student will be selected. Great. I'm going to click off of my widget to close the settings, and I can move this widget around and adjust. In addition to having a random name generator, I would also like to have some work symbols. So let's take a look at that widget. The widget is very similar to the other widget that we placed. I can drag it anywhere I like. I can adjust the size. We'll make this one a little bit bigger so it's easy for my class to see. And I'll say, hey, you can whisper. So I'll go ahead and pick the whisper option. If I would like to adjust the settings, I can click on the settings here and I can choose a matching color theme. I can also choose whether or not we enable sounds. I can click off of that. All right, let's go ahead and try one more widget, maybe a timer widget. Maybe I want to give my class time to work quietly for about 10 minutes. So I'll go ahead and click on timer and that widget will pop up. And again, I can drag it, make it a little bit larger, and then I can adjust the timer. This is minutes here, so this timer is already set for 10 minutes. Maybe I want to up that to 15 minutes and hit the settings here to customize the settings. I can change the timer sound and I can test that sound by pressing the sound button and pick a matching color scheme. All I have to do is click off of this to close those settings and hit play to start the timer. Coming back down to the widgets bar here, we'll see little numbers next to the widgets that we have already populated. Please note that you can have multiples of any widget. So if I needed a secondary timer for a smaller group of students, I could go ahead and bring that widget out and adjust that widget and start a secondary timer. If I go into more widgets here, I can see some additional widgets such as calendar, dice roll, embed code, group maker, stopwatch, webcam, and video. To use any of these, again, all I have to do is click on the widget and that widget will be posted for me. I can always click on the gear icon to adjust the settings for the particular widget. In this case here, maybe I want one through 20, so I will pick AD20 and pick a matching theme. I'll close that. And now I can roll the dice. If I'm unhappy with a particular widget, all I have to do is click on the widget and click X to close that widget. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it would be a little bit much to go through each and every widget, but I encourage you to click on a widget and click the settings to see how you can customize that widget. Additionally, as I said at the top of the video, we do not need an account to use this. However, if you would like an account to save things like class lists or other settings, you can make an account. To make an account, all you have to do is click on the home button and you'll be brought to the backstage screen here. 
to see your account, click on the person in the top corner and choose sign up. I always recommend signing up with Google so you don't have to remember any new account information. We'll go ahead and click sign up with Google and accept the terms and agreement. Follow any prompts that show up and click continue for free. Now you'll see your account settings. You'll have your home area where you can see your workspaces. However, with a free account, you can't save any workspaces, but you can start additional ones if you would like to. Under name lists, you can create name lists. And please note, you can save up to three different name lists for your different classes. You can go into background and upload your own backgrounds. And finally, you can change a couple of settings in the settings area. That's all you can do with accounts. The primary reason for having an account would be to save the name list. To go back to classroom screen, click on home and go ahead and click create new screen to open up a new screen. Because we created an account, our old screen was not saved, so we would have to reset up the widgets. Now you know everything you need to to use classroom screen with your students.